Hi lovelies, welcome back to Christina Maria Yoga. I'm Christina and today I'm taking you through a lower body strengthening flow. I absolutely love working legs and there are so many amazing yoga poses and flow combinations that we can do to help strengthen the lower body. I really hope you guys enjoy this flow. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up down below for me. Your support means so much. I really truly appreciate it. And if you would like to do more flows with me, don't forget to click that big red button to subscribe. Thanks so much guys. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. We're going to begin today lying on our backs in a reclined position. Palms facing up, arms resting by the sides, and allow the feet to fall out. Begin to bring the attention to the breath in the body, taking nice, long inhalations and exhalations. Feeling the belly expand with the breath and fall on the exhale. And then inhale, hugging the right knee into the chest, interlacing fingers around the right shin, and gently beginning to rock the knee side to side. Bringing right hand to the inside of the right thigh, we'll open up the hip to the right side. And then inhale, come back to center, taking the left hand to the outside of the right thigh, taking the leg across the body towards the left, finding a gentle spinal twist here. And gaze can come over to the right side. Exhale, coming back to center, and allow the right leg to strain out along the mat. We'll inhale, left knee into chest, interlacing fingers around the left shin, and then beginning to rock the knee side to side. Taking the left hand to the inside of the left thigh, and opening up the leg towards the left. Finding a nice hip stretch here. Beginning to wake up the legs. And exhale, come back to center. Take the right hand to the outside of the left thigh and bring the leg across the body towards the right. Allow the left arm to extend out and gaze come over to the left side. Taking nice deep breaths here, breathing into the back of the body as we twist. And inhale, come back to center. Hug both knees into the chest, interlacing fingers around the shins, gently rocking side to side. Then exhale, coming over onto the left side in a fetal position, and then using that right hand to push you up into a seated position. We'll come together with the legs crossed and hands gently resting on the knees. Dropping right ear to right shoulder, left hand reaches down on the mat. And inhale, come back to center. Dropping left ear to left shoulder, right hand comes down onto the mat. Finding a gentle neck stretch here. And inhale, come back to center, taking the chin over towards the right shoulder. And inhale, coming back through center, taking the chin towards the left shoulder. And we'll flow with this motion here, finding a gentle no motion with the neck, shaking the head from one shoulder to the other. 
moving nice and slowly here and inhale coming back to center we'll do the same thing with the yes motion lifting chin up towards the sky and then dropping chin towards chest moving nice and slow maybe pausing at the top and the bottom to feel a nice extension and flexion of the spine And inhale, come back to center. We'll come over into a tabletop position, shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. Knees are hip width distance apart. We'll move through some gentle cat-cow stretches. So inhaling, belly drops, head lifts. And then exhaling, drawing the belly in towards the spine as the head drops. Moving through this cycle here, Inhaling, belly drops, head lifts. Exhaling, draw belly in, round through the upper back as the head drops. Really press through the hands as you exhale to round the upper back. And inhale, come back to neutral. Take the tops of the feet down onto the mat and we'll move through some Sufi circles, dropping the hips down towards the right side, bringing them around towards the back of the heels and then up the left side. There's no wrong way to do this movement, just flowing with what feels best for you. Then exhale, switch direction, sending the hips down the left side towards the heels, and then coming up the right. Pausing at any point during these circles. And then inhale, come back to table. We'll curl the toes under, walk the hands a little bit forward, spreading all ten fingers. Then exhale, press the hips back to find a downward facing dog. Head begins to fall in between the upper arms. And feel free to pedal out the feet here, dropping one heel, then the other towards the mat. Bringing any movements into the hips. And then exhale to walk the feet up to meet the hands, finding a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shins, find a flat back, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise the arms up overhead, and exhale, bringing hands to heart center. It's feeling free to set an intention for your practice here. Inhale, rise arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise arms up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart. Exhale, release the hands down onto the hips and root into the right foot spreading and lifting the toes and placing them back down on the mat and then bending at the left knee bring the foot behind you towards the glutes and reach back with the left hand to grab the outside of the left foot a gentle thigh stretch here imagine drawing the knee down towards the ground and exhale kicking the leg out behind you as you bring the hands forward to reach for the ground in front of you to find a standing split. Option to take right hand, wrap it around the ankle, and then exhale, release, coming into a forward fold.
take the right hand to the outside of the left shin and left hand to the outside of the right shin and draw the elbows out towards the sides opening up through the upper back in this forward fold and then exhale release the hands down onto the mat inhale halfway lift exhale fold inhale rise the arms up overhead exhale hands to heart bringing the hands back onto the hips root into that left foot and then bending at the right knee kicking that right foot up behind the glutes reaching back with the right hand to grab the outside of the right foot imagine the right knee drawing down towards the ground and then exhale kick that right foot out behind you as hands come to the ground in front of you for our standing splits option to take left hand wrapping it around the left ankle a little bit more of a balance challenge and then exhale release the legs slowly coming into a forward fold this time wrapping peace fingers around big toes so pointer and middle finger and drawing the elbows out towards the side bending the knees any amount that's comfortable maybe the belly comes to rest on the thighs and exhale release inhale lift up halfway exhale fold inhale rise arms up overhead exhale hands to heart inhale arms up exhale fold inhale halfway lift exhale fold this time plant the hands in the mat and step back to our downward facing dog head falls in between upper arms hips press back and heels are reaching for the ground long straight spine here taking nice full deep breaths exhale stepping that right foot up in between the hands finding a runner's lunge and then inhale rise arms up overhead bending deeply into that front right knee and then exhale sweep the arms down behind you as the heart comes towards that front right knee so in a powerful lunge arms are right by the sides hands beside the th outer thigh palms facing down long straight spine here feel the energy building through the palms and exhale release the hands down onto the mat and step back to our downward facing dog taking a breath here and then exhale stepping the left foot up in between the hands coming into our runner's lunge with hands on the mat press out through that back right heel and then inhale arms reach up overhead draw that core in nice and tight bend into that front knee a little bit more keep breathing and exhale to come into our powerful lunge palms facing down towards the ground arms by the sides back is straight and long keep pressing out through that back right heel strong powerful legs and exhale release the hands back onto the mat press into the hands as you step back to downward facing dog and exhale walk the feet up to meet the hands finding a forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale fold inhale rise the arms up overhead exhale hands come to heart release the hands to the hips and take that left foot back behind you turning the left toes to face the long edge of the mat so we're in heel to arch alignment and then exhale bend into that front right knee make sure hips are parallel to that long edge of the mat and inhale arms up at shoulder height with the palms facing down gaze comes over the front right fingertips for warrior two 
Take nice, strong, deep breaths here. And keeping the legs where they are, inhale, arms up overhead for palms to touch. And exhale, bending towards that front right knee. Finding a gentle side bend here in our warrior two. Inhale, coming back up through center. Find your warrior two with the palms facing down. Exhale, releasing hands to the hips. Straighten that front leg and heel toe the back foot in to come up to stand at the top of your mat. Exhale, step the right foot back about three and a half feet, turning the right toes to face the long edge of the mat, coming into heel to arch alignment. Then exhale, bend into that front knee. Inhale, arms up at shoulder height. Gaze comes over the front fingertips. Make sure to keep that core nice and tight. Hips parallel to the long edge of the mat. And then keeping the legs where they are, inhale, arms up overhead, palms touching. And exhale, taking a side bend towards that front knee. Keep breathing. Inhale, come back up to warrior two, palms facing down. And exhale, release the hands to hips, straighten that front leg, heel toe the back left foot in, step up to the top of your mat. Let's bring hands together at heart center. And inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands in the mat, step back to downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here. Drawing shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, dropping the knees down onto the mat. Bring the big toes into touch and sit back into child's pose. Bringing the hands down towards the heels. Glutes reaching towards the heels. Rounding through the back as the forehead rests on the mat. Taking nice, deep, recentering breaths here. And inhale, lifting the heart up. And we'll swing the legs around to come into a seated position with the legs extended out in front of us. Feet are flexed, thighs are engaged. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, folding forward any amount. Hands can be on shins, ankles, or reaching for the toes. Allow the head to drop towards the legs. And inhale, coming back up. Taking the left leg out straight, bending the right leg in so the sole of the foot is pressed against the left inner thigh. And reach with the left hand towards the left toes, ankle, or shin. Finding a nice stretch through the back of the leg. And then inhale, come on back up, switching sides, extending the right leg out, bringing left sole of the foot to meet the right inner thigh, and reaching with the right hand towards the right foot, ankle, or shin. And inhale, coming back up. We'll bring the soles of the feet to touch in Baddha Konasana or Butterfly. Option to interlace fingers around big toes, using the thumbs to open up the arches of the feet, or taking arms underneath of the legs, and wrapping around the outsides of the feet to get a deeper rounding through the upper back. And exhaling, really rounding forward, bowing head towards the feet, chin comes in towards the chest. Taking nice deep breaths here. And then inhale, come on back up. 
Keeping the legs in Baddha Konasana or Butterfly, we'll come into a reclined position. So walk down on the forearms to come all the way onto your back with the head resting on the mat. And hands can be on the stomach or out by the sides with the palms facing up. Ready, extending the feet out along the mat, allowing the toes to fall open. Hands come out by the sides and palms face up for our final resting pose of Shavasana. Allowing yourself to take as much time as you need in this final resting pose. Bringing the awareness back to the breath. And really absorbing the amazing practice you just took part in. Namaste. Thanks so much for doing that flow with me, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big like down below. And don't forget to click that big red button to subscribe to do more flows with me. Also, my social media links are always down in the description below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends if you think they might enjoy it. Thanks so much, guys. And I can't wait to do the next flow with you. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.